This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about a bad break for Trey, our middle son, our, our 10 year older. We were playing soccer. I'm their soccer coach, and I coached two soccer teams. And we had just coached Braden's team 130 to 230 and had a half hour layover, as it were. And then we're coaching Trey, and Grant and Braden was playing along. And we had stretched, we ran our laps, you know, we, we, we were all limber. We were playing a game, and it was a one-on-one, -on -one and Trey was on defense, and he went down in a, in a terrible way, and I had a ringside seat. I know I'm mixing sports there, but I was very close to the action, and Trey's leg caught into the ground with his cleat, and it was almost like a dish rag you know, uh, that you would ring, except that, you know, it was Trey's legs that were rung, and he completely snapped his femur up, a high femur break. And I heard it. Last time I heard that sound was when I broke my brother's arm back when I was uh, 10, I think. A terrible sound. Sorry, Eric. I apologized for that previously. But nonetheless, I went over to him and I felt his leg. And I'm not a physician, but uh, and it wasn't a compound break. But nonetheless, you could feel it floating in there. And, and an x-ray confirmed that there actually was a piece that was floating. So here's Trey. Uh, of all of our five children, his pain tolerance that God gave him is amazing. But he's scared. He says, Dad, is it broken? I said, I don't know, honey. And it's amazing. You, 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 as you think through and you pray, we prayed over him. And I got him to the hospital. He's in tremendous pain. Put him in my Honda Accord. We drove him to the hospital. You know, Hershey Med Center is only, what, two miles away from here. And the part I want to recount specifically of this, of this terrible pain, uh, basically he had to have surgery and had two titanium rods put in him and he's going to be in a half body cast for six to eight weeks poor guy so soccer season's over swimming season's over before it started scouts is going to be challenging frankly life's going to be challenging but one of the things i was encouraged about is kind of what trey did here in in the time when it was when he was hurting i had to it was just me and to park at the at the emergency uh, exit there and yeah, excuse me at the emergency entrance ran in the hospital and shared hey, I believe my son has a broken leg. So Trey was by himself. And what Trey shared then <clears throat> with us later is that he was praying. He was praying. He, he was talking to God. And, and it just reminds me of what Job says here in, in Job chapter 6, verse 10. Then I would still have this consolation, consolation rather, my joy and unrelenting pain. And that's what Trey felt, and he still feels that. My joy and unrelenting pain that I had not denied the words of the Holy One. Job 6.10, no, not that my son would say those words exactly, but the effect is the same. Trey knew in his moment of need that he could go to Jesus and pray. And that's from years of Suzanne and me talking to him again. It doesn't make us great parents. It's just we, we know, we know that God is the one who's in charge of all, whether it's pain or pleasure or anything in between. And God, I thank you for comforting my son in that time when I had to go in and find out, get the help that he needed where Trey was alone and wondering, What's wrong with me? Is, is, is it gonna, am I going to die? I mean, it, it, it was a lot of pain. It continues to be a lot of pain. But again, that's a reminder to us that whether no matter how old we are, how young we are, good looking, rich, poor, anything, God loves us equally and He loves us all. And He has a special plan for our lives, and that's to follow Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for protecting Trey, and thank you for the lesson that I learned from my 10-year-old that day. In your name, Lord. Amen.